At this point, we all know Wolverine is gearing up in a yellow suit for Deadpool 3. But what about our Logan legacy in the current MCU? Will we see him in another Logan movie? Well, for that, you have to stick around to find out. Now to begin with, let's take a look back at how things concluded for Wolverine and anticipate how Deadpool 3 will piece it all back together. After featuring as Wolverine in nine X-Men movies, Hugh Jackman's iconic mutant deservedly yearned for a long-awaited happy ending. Throughout the X-Men series, Logan faced torment, grappling with memory loss and being haunted by the consequences of his actions, particularly with Jean Grey. In Logan, he had isolated himself from the world, accompanied only by Caliban and the ailing Charles Xavier. The film's conclusion witnessed the demise of these mutants, with Wolverine forming a fleeting connection with his genetic clone, Laura, before his demise. Despite finding a semblance of peace, Logan's ultimate ending was far from a joyful one. Oh yeah, no, um, I got kicked out a few times. <laughs> I wish I could say you were a good pupil, but the words would choke me. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine's story has been lacking a genuinely happy conclusion, and his death, while seen by some as a release from involuntary immortality, leaves much to be desired. His resurrection in Deadpool 3 presents an opportunity for a fresh start, enabling Wolverine to learn from past mistakes and construct a brighter future. If speculations about a different version of Wolverine in Deadpool 3 hold, the MCU can explore a distinct narrative without negating the events in Logan. This approach would essentially grant Wolverine fans the satisfaction of having their cake and eating it too. Wolverine's best ending doesn't involve his death. His return in Deadpool 3 offers a chance for a fresh start, featuring a comics-accurate costume, interactions with Deadpool, and integration with Marvel's broader hero roster. Deadpool 3 signals a new beginning for Wolverine, suggesting that his ultimate fate need not be death. Instead of seeking an escape from immortality, this version of Wolverine could embark on a quest to make his immortal life meaningful. With access to the multiverse, Wolverine might discover a path to happiness, a pursuit that consistently eluded him in prior live-action appearances. Rumors of Wolverine's involvement in Avengers Secret Wars hint at a significant role, opening the door for ongoing multiversal narratives in the MCU. In this expansive multiverse, Wolverine could find a reality where his loved ones, like Jean Grey, Professor X, and Cyclops, are alive. Freed from the torment of watching friends perish, Wolverine could conclude his journey in a universe where he finally attains everything he desired, reminiscent of the ending in X-Men Days of Future Past. Liberated from haunting memories, Wolverine could settle down, experiencing a long and contented life surrounded by the family he cherished. While Logan's ending served a specific aspect of Wolverine's story, it falls short of the happy conclusion earned through his unwavering heroism. Deadpool 3 and future MCU ventures pave the way for a new, truly joyous ending, one where Wolverine finds happiness for the first time in his enduring and painful life. The return of Wolverine may also pave the way for the resurgence of another clawed mutant, X-23, potentially setting the stage for Logan 2. Daphne Keene's remarkable portrayal in the 2017 film garnered widespread acclaim, showcasing a perfect blend of stoic badassery and innocent vulnerability. Fans have long awaited her return to the role, and the prospect of X-23 making a comeback would undoubtedly be met with enthusiasm. Introducing X-23 into the film and the larger Marvel Cinematic Universe could be facilitated through various avenues, particularly with the MCU embracing concepts like time travel and alternate dimensions. Given the X-Men film's history of playing fast and loose with timelines, the introduction of a grown-up X-23 alongside a younger Wolverine wouldn't be too surprising, albeit potentially perplexing. Although details about the new film are scant, Hugh Jackman's confirmation that Deadpool 3 predates Logan's tragic events suggests a younger and prime Wolverine. This opens up possibilities, such as Logan discovering Alkali's experiments and encountering a girl in the process. X-23's role in the film could range from a mere cameo to a substantial part of the narrative. It might involve scenes inside a facility hinting at Laura's origins, passing mentions by characters, or Deadpool's characteristic humor making light of Logan having a child. Laura's presence in the evolving Marvel landscape would be a welcome addition, considering her popularity in the comics and Daphne Keene's impactful portrayal in Logan. It could signify future developments for X-23, offering her continued relevance. 
Additionally, it provides Logan with an opportunity to forge a connection with his clone daughter, especially considering the inevitability that Hugh Jackman may not play the role forever. Amid the recent chaos surrounding Marvel's quest for writers for their inaugural X-Men movie, rumors circulated that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine wouldn't be part of the mutant team, deviating from the norm. However, this decision appears to be a strategic move as part of a larger plan for the actor and his superhero alter ego. And what is more interesting is the latest rumor suggests that Wolverine, aka Logan, will be granted a solo movie dedicated to his character within the MCU before his inclusion in the ensemble X-Men movie. Despite initial disappointment among fans regarding Wolverine's absence from the team, there seems to be a deliberate strategy behind Marvel's approach. According to a report from Cosmic Book News, the studio intends to pave the way for a standalone Wolverine film featuring Hugh Jackman. This solo venture is anticipated to unfold before integrating Wolverine into future X-Men films. Marvel has consistently hinted at significant plans for the character, with past speculations indicating Wolverine's crucial role in the upcoming Avengers Secret Wars. While the decision to delay Wolverine's introduction to the X-Men might have initially unsettled fans, the reported solo movie signals that Marvel has intricate and expansive plans in store for the iconic character within the broader MCU narrative. Now, the one thing that we all can look forward to Deadpool 3's groundbreaking R rating, a first for the MCU, adds an extra layer of excitement to Wolverine's introduction to the MCU. Unlike previous MCU projects constrained by PG-13 ratings, the R-rated Deadpool 3 suggests Wolverine might unleash some serious carnage, pushing the boundaries set by Logan and Deadpool. The clash between Wolverine and Deadpool, both possessing potent regenerative healing factors, promises an exhilarating and perhaps comically violent showdown. Their mutant abilities set the stage for an intense face-off, raising anticipation for the dynamic interplay between these historically visceral characters. Beyond the individual character dynamics, Deadpool 3's R rating benefits the broader introduction of the X-Men to the MCU. By showcasing the potentially threatening nature of mutants, it allows audiences to reacquaint themselves with the formidable power these characters wield. Even if subsequent X-Men projects adopt a PG-13 approach, Deadpool 3 establishes a precedent, emphasizing the distinct and potentially overwhelming capabilities of the mutant team. The R-rated tone of Deadpool 3 contributes to setting the X-Men apart from the Avengers, emphasizing the diversity in style and tone between the two franchises. This shift in tone can serve as a symbolic bridge, marking the end of the Fox movie universe and the formal integration of the X-Men into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Whether it's Wolverine and Deadpool engaging in intense combat or confronting common adversaries, the prospect of these two iconic characters going all out in a movie together adds an exciting dimension to the future of the MCU. Before the MCU became Hollywood's superhero powerhouse, Fox recognized the gold mine with Bryan Singer's X-Men franchise, breaking box office expectations. Post the original trilogy, Fox expanded with X-Men Origins Wolverine, despite its critical reception, paving the way for more solo ventures for Hugh Jackman's iconic mutant. The flaws in 2013's The Wolverine were overshadowed by James Mangold's direction, setting the stage for Jackman's full realization of Wolverine's potential in 2017's Logan. Yet Logan's lasting impact wouldn't be the same without Laura, or X-23, a cherished character who almost had her own solo movie. From the franchise's origins to the MCU's exciting future, the journey of Wolverine remains a testament to the enduring legacy of mutant superheroes in cinema. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Welcome in the comments.